Hello artists, our dinosaur we're going to draw today is a triceratops. Now the tri the T-R-I in the beginning of triceratops actually stands for three, which makes sense because triceratops had one, two, three horns. Triceratops was also an herbivore and liked to eat plants and was probably a dinosaur that you wouldn't want to get in a fight with. They were called, if you've ever seen the movie The Land Before Time, they also could be called three-horned and you definitely did not want to get hit with that crown. It was very, very hard, basically made of bone, could be used for moving boulders and other large objects, or for quite a winning um, advantage in a headbutt fight. So I would not want to get in the way of the Triceratops. So what are we waiting for? Let's draw our three-horned friend. Okay, before I start drawing my triceratops, I want to make sure I have all the materials I need, which would be paper to draw on, a pencil to draw with, and I want to have an eraser on the side to erase any of those helper lines once I'm done drawing. Now, a lot of our dinosaurs that we've drawn together, I've drawn the body and the head separate. I'm actually going to draw the body for my triceratops as a big oval here. And I'm actually going to overlap the shape for my head on top of it like this and this is a helper line that I can erase right away because I am not going to have any use for a line right in the middle of my triceratops's face so I'll fill that in uh, for the back legs I'm actually going to bring it up really high similar to our stegosaurus and then for his arms triceratops actually had interesting front arms they weren't necessarily straight they were kind of angled out kind of like if you were to turn your hands in front of you like this and walk the way that your elbows would be bent if you try doing that so i'm going to draw one of his front legs here and i'm going to bend it slightly and kind of over here by the head i'm going to have the other arm kind of coming off the mouth a little bit there just to make sure the angles match like that and I'm also going to add another back leg through here that you can't quite see here's some toes and actually since this one's turned in I'll draw it on this one too all right looks a little weird right now but we still have a little more to add I'm gonna add a tail the tail wasn't too long so I'm gonna have it come off like that so there's the body and the arms of my triceratops. I'm going to go in and erase a couple helper lines. Make sure my body is now attached to my tail. I am going to leave this line back here for the back leg. And I didn't erase that completely, so let's fix that. But I can also fix it up when I go over it and color it later. All right, now my Triceratops needs kind of the crown, which again, like I said, was a really like hard piece. Um, you definitely would not want to get in a headbutting accident with this dinosaur. It would just knock you out. It was one of its defense mechanisms. So I don't really know how else to describe the shape rather than it's kind of like a potato chip. So off the top of his head, I'm going to draw this like, yeah, kind of like a potato chip or it almost looks like a, like a baby bonnet or something. And then I'll erase this helper line on the inside here and a little bit of the top of the head because it was all one big piece. Now I'm going to give it its three horns because after all, triceratops, the tri and triceratops, T-R-I, means three. So he had three horns. I'm going to actually draw the front horn. I'm gonna make sure it's a little longer than the head. And then over here, is the second one and then the horn coming off of the nose and add eyes and a little bit of a mouth all right kind of just clean it up a little bit here clean up my horns and my triceratops is ready to color. I like to add my horizon line in there. Oh, and I want to make sure the horn actually looks connected. All right. And there's my triceratops ready to color. And I will be ready. 
And here is my completed and colored Triceratops. I always make sure to color the ground, even though these are just practice pictures before I make my full dinosaur landscape, I always wanna make sure I practice sort of making my picture complete. Um, adding a couple little details, a little bit of lines on the little um, head crown area here, a little bit of extra color to the horns to make them stand out, and of course always coloring the toes. I like to have fun with my colors as I've said in previous videos. So go ahead. Remember you can always rewind and pause the video if you need to as you're drawing with me, and make sure that you have fun and be creative. Enjoy!